First at 10, the drug used to treat asthma and other breathing problems is in short supply. Hospitals and pharmacies throughout the Miami Valley are noticing the shortage, and now they have to cut back on giving it out. Two News reporter Allison Gens live with us in the studio with how the shortage is impacting patients. Allison. John Brook, pharmacies and hospitals have been dealing with the albuterol shortage for months now after the company that makes it filed for bankruptcy and shut down production. And some medical experts are predicting this shortage could go on a lot longer. There have been a shortage in albuterol since October and it's only going to get worse. The shelves of albuterol at Zix Family Pharmacy in downtown Dayton are almost bare. Just a few boxes left. And pharmacist Dr. Abel No says it's nearly impossible to get more in stock. We've been trying to order it since October. We don't have any. It doesn't come in at all. Albuterol is most commonly used in a rescue inhaler for people with asthma, but it's also used to treat people with respiratory illnesses like bronchitis and pneumonia. Uh, we've kind of held back on using it as much for those acute conditions to save it for those folks with asthma that uh, we really need to use it for in emergency situations. Regional Medical Director for Premier Health, Dr. Joseph Allen, says Miami Valley Hospital has seen their reserves of albuterol diminish recently. Now they really have to hold back, giving it only to patients who urgently need it. Previously, if they came in, they were wheezing, they looked a little bit kind of on edge. We'd go ahead and hit them with albuterol and get them taken care of. But now we have to kind of question that or think of other things that we can use. Allen says there are other treatments available, but he says they're not as effective when it comes down to saving lives in an emergency. They're not great in a rescue type. So if you really if you're having trouble and you don't have albuterol or access to it, you really need to find that uh, get to that emergency department or urgent care somewhere to get treated. Dr. Allen also recommends if you have albuterol, make sure to properly store it so it does not go bad before its expiration date. And if you can't find the albuterol you need, reach out to your doctor to discuss other options. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News.